Hey guys, this is Victor again from Vitagenics, the Wise Traditions Nutritionist. And today I want to speak to you about the best water to drink. Just really quick, I want to go over this because there's a lot of different options out there. The short answer is water direct from nature, natural water is the best. But there's a lot of complicated choices out there, so we're going to talk about that. Which water is hype, which water is not. And we're looking beyond the water quality here, okay? Because you hear things like hydrogen water or H2 water. This is good stuff, okay? It's good for you. It comes in various different ways. Then there is uh, some more, a little bit obscure stuff. This de uh, deuterium depleted water or uh, light water, which is also good, but it's really expensive. So it's kind of beyond most people. It's not really worth talking about too much. And the final thing is structured water. And there's a lot of different ways to structure water. Your vortex water is really probably the only thing that's really helpful. And uh, you're basically trying to simulate nature when you're doing all of these things. And the thing, the things or the machines to try to avoid are these kind of alkaline waters, these Kangen machines. There's a lot of competition in that market and a lot of hype. And there's really not much to it. Uh, it's... You know, they're okay as filtration systems. You know, we have all different kinds of filtration systems that are great. But basically, I would say don't waste your time, don't waste your money on these expensive alkaline or ionizing water systems. Okay, so where do you get the good water from, right? What's the best way to get it? Uh, nature, actually, your springs and your streams, they're actually naturally structured, right? And... Uh, ketosis, our body actually creates light water. And you don't have to go into uh, or be on a ketogenic diet because we all naturally go into a state of ketosis daily if we have a good balanced diet. So again, diet is key and then your body is going to produce a lot of good water. And of course, you know, the water coming in is still bad. So there are a lot of good filtration systems out there. Uh, definitely like, you know, reverse osmosis water and charcoal filters are great. But when you do that, you got to get minerals and things back into your water. So those are just ways to clean it, which is important. Uh, but again, we need kind of more than that. Uh, if you're getting it from nature, that's wonderful. If you got a good clean spring or a well, fantastic, or a stream, river, whatever. Another way to get good water is, of course, with additives, adding water in. Uh, adding adding things to your water, actually adding some salt. So if you're using a reverse osmosis machine, you need to get some salt and other minerals and things back in there. There are a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, the same thing, like if you're drinking water uh, that has been, uh, you know, evaporated, so you're you're drinking like pure water. This is really not the best thing. You need to get the minerals back in. I mean, it's good, it's clean, but you want to get some minerals and things back into it. Um, and of course, finally, you can get good spring water and uh, light water, you know, by buying bottles. But I don't recommend bottled water. There's a lot of additional issues with that. Okay, so anyway, that about covers it for, you know, what water is good, what water to avoid, how to get the best. And if you want more information, I have a lot more information in my other video on hydration, which gets really detailed. And this slide is actually taken from that where I talk about how much water is enough. And be careful. Don't drink too much, you know. I mean, too much of anything is no good for you. You got to remember everything is mostly made of water, right? We're mostly made of water. So again, when you have a good diet, you are consuming your good food, good sources. You're actually taking in good water. And then we have various kinds of advice like, you know, you're, you should be drinking water until your urine is clear. You should drink like eight glasses a day, which is like two liters of water. Or, you know, drink one ounce per pound a day per your, per your weight. You know, so these are all different kinds of advice and they're okay, but this varies tremendously. So I don't put a lot of weight into that. And listen, our ancestors didn't do that. They didn't drink glasses of water. Again, they were eating really good food and getting a lot of their uh, water with what they were eating. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. Just a short video. I hope it's helpful. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. And uh, again, check out my other water on hydration, which goes much deeper 
into the water issue, okay? Thank you. Have a good day.